Okay, so when you're dealing with circles and you're dealing with a straight line, then three possible things could happen. You could have that the circle and the line intersect one another, and therefore you're going to get two points, two distinct points of intersection. You could have the line just touching the circle at one point, and hence you would have a tangent. Or, the third possibility is that you have a circle, and the line completely misses the circle. So these are three situations which we need to be able to identify. So, let's say we've got uh, the circle x minus 1 squared plus y plus 3 squared is equal to, um, let's say, let's choose a nice number, uh, 4. And then we have a straight line, y is equal to, um, let's have y, uh, sorry, y is equal to x minus 3. Okay, so we've got the equation of a circle and we've got the equation of a line. And we want to determine whether the circle and the line intersect or not. And if they do intersect, then whether we have two distinct points or just the one. And so this line would therefore be a tangent to the curve. So whenever we deal with intersections, we use simultaneous equations. And so we substitute this equation into the equation for the circle. So we would have x minus 1 squared plus y, which is x minus 3, plus that 3 squared is equal to 4. So let's simplify this bracket so that we get x minus 1 squared plus, well that would just be now because minus 3 plus 3 is 0, just x squared. So then multiply out the brackets, so we get x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus the x squared is equal to 4. So that's me multiplying out the double bracket, and that's the x squared from the last line. And then rearrange everything so we get everything onto the left-hand side. So we've got 2x squared, take away 2x, and then take 4 from both sides will be minus 3 is 0. So in working with the simultaneous equations of a circle and a straight line, we have ended up with a quadratic. And... It is to do with this quadratic, solving it would allow us to find any intersection points. But it is the discriminant of this quadratic that will tell you whether we have two distinct real points of intersection, one point and therefore a tangent to the curve, or the line misses the circle entirely. So the discriminant, if we've got two distinct points, must be greater than zero. For it to be a tangent, the discriminant must be zero. And if it misses the circle altogether, then we can have no intersection points, and so the discriminant must be less than zero. So we need to evaluate the discriminant of this quadratic equation. So a is 2, b is minus 2, and c is minus 3. So we get b squared minus 4 times a times c. So this is 4. Minus 4 times 2 is minus 8 times minus 3 is plus 24. So we get 28. Now 28 is larger than 0. So there are two distinct points of intersection. Okay, 
So because the discriminant is greater than zero, we have this situation where the straight line is intersecting the circle at two points. So in order to determine whether a line intersects a circle or not, use simultaneous equations to get it down to a quadratic, which you can then employ the discriminant to evaluate whether we have one of these three situations.